Hello and welcome to Blues View. Today we're at Birmingham City's West Hills training ground. In a minute we'll be catching up with Alex McLeish and Curtis Davies. But first of all I spoke to Colin Tatum about Birmingham City's activity during the January transfer window. Well, I think um, all things considered they've, they've done a very good job. Obviously it's always a very fluid situation in January. You can't always get what you want. But I think on paper uh, the three players that they have brought in will be significant additions and they will... Um, make a, a contribution to the team um, for the remainder of the season, definitely. Let's talk specifics and uh, Oberfamu Martins. Um, how good is he going to be, do you think? I liken him to a, a replacement Christian Benitez, really. He's that sort of player. He's very quick, very dynamic. Um, I think he will be hit and miss, um, but he's that maverick sort that may be that uh, the team has been crying out for he'll give them something different at the top end of the pitch and he's got that explosive pace and if he can dovetail with Cameron Jerome for example like Benitez did then I think uh, Birmingham will be all the better for it and what about Curtis Davies as obviously he's come in now to, uh, to, write, to provide cover at the back uh, what do you make of that signing? I, I think um, that's a very good signing as well he's the right age he's hungry to play um, he wants to play and it's not only for, for the here and now but it's for the future um, imagine next season when there's, there's Curtis Davis, Roger Johnson, Scott Dan all vying for a centre half slot plus Re Liam Ridgewell there in the mix as well I think that's, it, it, that's a very shrewd ac acquisition he was kicking his heels at uh, Villa for no real fault of his own uh, and he's still got uh, a lot to prove and there's a lot of potential there um, very shrewd signing that one and David Bentley, he's been here a couple of weeks now. Uh, what do you make of him so far and uh, how do you see his future for, for Blues? I think, um, obviously, he's got undoubted quality. He's got a smashing goal against Coventry City. That's what he can do. He can play left and right. And he's an England international. Uh, big money move to Tottenham Hotspur. And again, it's another one. He needs to play, he wants to play, he's hungry to play. And if Birmingham can give him that platform, um, I think he, he, can, he can probably be the best of the lot that they've signed in January. Um, and I've written it, and I'll say it again, that um, come the end of the season, all being well, if Birmingham stay up, they need to do everything they can to make that move permanent because he's the sort of player that can move the team on. And also there's the, the bonus of players staying at the club. There's lots of rumours around Zigic, Jerome, Larson. All three are now staying at least for the rest of the season. Just how important is that for Birmingham City? I think it was vitally important. It would have been pretty brainless to have moved any of those players on that you've mentioned um, because you're weakening your options. Um, and Cameron Jerome, Stoke City have liked him a lot, but the money they were talking and, and the swap and the exchange, it, it just it just wouldn't have made sense. Nikola Zigic is... is getting to grips with it, his confidence is up again, um, it would have been pointless to have moved him on at this stage because he will provide a different option and he might end up being a cult hero this season you just don't know um, And Sebastian Larson, um, he is still going to have a part to play he's a versatile player and he's an honest player so again it, it, it wasn't in the club's interest really um, to move him out and who knows uh, they could sit around the table near a May and, and he might end up staying anyway we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one but uh, I think as you said there it was very important to bring people in but also to make sure that they didn't weaken the numbers as well which, which uh, Birmingham have done Blues View spoke to both Alex McLeish and Curtis Davies as they looked forward to the rest of the season Dan and Roger Johnson have both done brilliant especially I think it's the fact that they both come from the championships as relatively unknown and um, they've both done very well individually and, and collectively um, together as a, as a partnership. And um, now if, if, if I'm the man that's going to go in and, and, try, and uh, try and keep my place amongst them two, I have to be on my game. So um, like I say, I'll see how it goes. I have to get a game first and then get my form up and hopefully I'll be good enough to, to stay in that team. But Davies will not play in the Carling Cup final after appearing in the competition while on loan at Leicester. If people thought I was just signing to get to a Carling Cup final, then uh, they'd be wrong. But that's the thing, people will text me saying, oh yeah, nice little Cup final slot into. And I just, uh, I said, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> Crying over the other end of the phone. You'll be cheering the club <coughs> from the side. Oh yeah, obviously I'll be there and I'll be cheering the lads on. Um, but it'll just be a similar similar case to when I was at Villa last year. I'll be cheering them on, but I, it's, as such, if they win it, I wouldn't have been a part of it. So um, obviously, but I'm just hoping they go and win it though. Alex McLeish explained just how tricky operating in the mid-season transfer window was as he tried to bring in a new striker. You've got to keep the balls juggling in the air. 
and we tried that right up to the wire as I said and uh, we then had a few doors shut in our face and thankfully the, the Oba Femi Martins one came through for us Curtis Davis a good acquisition young centre back who will fight hard for a place with some good centre halves we have at the club and uh, of course David Bentley has already showed his quality since coming in he's explosive two footed good in the air he's probably a more a more experienced Chucho Benitez, you know, Chucho did a really good job for his last year, scored uh, three, four goals, I think, but he he was instrumental in creating, and I think, I believe that Oba, Oba will do that as well.